Hi everyone, this is Ella, the Visual Marketing Director at Momo, and what you guys are looking at right now is the wireframe demo of our website. And to help us better navigate this website, as well as show you guys the various functions we have, I have listed three different scenarios for us. So for example, the first scenario is if I want to travel back to China, but because of the current COVID restrictions, me and my parents have a lot of concerns regarding how the process works or the various safety precautions that we have to take. So what I can do is I can voice my concerns in this text box over here under a guideline given by the website. And then after typing here, I can click the hashtag, the specific hashtag traveling back home under COVID-19. And before pressing submit, I can also choose whether or not I want to submit whatever I want to say anonymously. In this case, I do. So I press this box over here. So after pressing submit, it leads me to this web page right here, which is basically everything under the topic that I chose before. And then right here, I see three tabs. So the first tab basically gives all the feeds that users with concerns such as me have regarding traveling back home. And then right here, I can see a lot of stories that people who already have experiences traveling back to China have. And from here, I can read about how their process was like. And then in the media tab, for example, I can also look at the various flight times that other people have posted or the different price fluctuations. And with this amount of information, I feel much more relieved and more prepared to head back home. So going back to the home page, the second scenario I have is, for example, if it's really late at night and I want to get home. For example, I, for one, I live in Brooklyn, and a lot of times when it's late, I find it really unsafe going back home by myself, especially riding the subway. So what I can do is I can type in this box right here if anyone wants to get back home together, if they're in the same area as me. And if no one responds, another thing I can do is press this search box and then search about the safety alerts or safety information of the area that I'm in, as well as subway information so that I feel a lot more safe going back home alone. So the third scenario is, for example, if I am an international Chinese student who just arrived at NYU and I really wanna to get to know the community and attend some social events happening around me, what I can do is go under one of the hashtags that is relevant to the topic that I'm looking for. And another thing I can do is scroll down and this section basically covers the trendiest social events happening around me. And I can also find information posted by various student organizations, such as NYU Live or NYU CSSA, and their information on a lot of the events that they're hosting. And I can know that their profiles are official because of the logo on their avatars. And if I am specifically interested in a club or an organization, what I can do is follow them on this website. And to access their profile, I can enter my own page right here and then click on the people I follow, which leads me to their profile. And if I am, for example, really interested in a specific event that they're hosting and I want more people to know about it, I can also repost whatever information they have and this way they get more exposure. And yeah, this is functions our website has. And another little Easter egg we have is if you look over here, there's an emoticon. And in the future, when you click into it, you can choose amongst various emotions that basically explain how you're feeling at the moment when you're writing the topic that you're interested in. And yeah, based on the three scenarios mentioned before, you guys can clearly tell how we plan on creating a warm and safe community for Chinese international students. Thank you.